One of the originators of American pop art, Tom Wesselman's use of bright, undiluted colours and impersonal, advertisement-like motifs are hallmarks of the pop art movement. Started in 1967 and completed in 1975, Long Delayed Nude draws on a recurring theme in Wesselman's work, The Nude, and incorporates distinctive elements of his two other major series, Still Lifes and Bedroom Paintings. The central female figure in this intimate, almost filmic scene relates to The Great American Nudes, a series Wesselman started in 1961, the same year he enjoyed his first solo show at the Tanager Gallery in New York. The woman lays in an ecstatic posture with her chest thrown out. Her mouth is slightly open and highlighted by a fuchsia lipstick. Her lack of features draws attention to her open mouth, a recurring theme in Wesselman's work. A framed portrait to the right featuring a dark haired woman suggests this could be the face of the reclining nude. By using a portrait within a painting, Wesselman adds an element of abstraction to his figurative work. But Wesselman rejects the abstract expressionism of his peers, combining a pop and classical representation of nude, still life and landscape. The 25 preparatory drawings prior to the final work are indicative of the artist's desire to build a real narrative. In the final work, the background is composed of several elements echoing a classical still life painting. The flowers in a vase, the tissue box, the bottle of perfume, the leopard print, the chair. By shaping the canvas around these background inanimate objects, Wesselman forces the viewer to focus on the reclining nude, highlighting the life emanating from her. A celebration in shape and colour, Wesselman's monumental work is an iconic canvas in American pop art and a highlight of our upcoming sale in Paris. <laughs>